My name is Madison Tunder. I'm from St. Augustine, Florida, and I was a Broadcom Masters finalist in 2015. My name is David Yu, and I am from Plano, Texas. Congratulations on being a 2016 Broadcom Masters nominee. Congratulations on being selected as a Broadcom Masters nominee. It's definitely a very big accomplishment. Now you have a chance to apply for the Broadcom Masters, and then you may be selected as a semifinalist or a finalist and get to attend finalist week, which has been one of the best experiences of my life. When I was nominated, I didn't know much about Broadcom Masters, but after a little research, I discovered how truly amazing this opportunity was. I decided to complete this application because I was passionate about my research, I love STEM, and welcomed any chance to broaden my horizons. So when you first see your application, you may think it's a very long and tedious process that requires you to write multiple essays by yourself and your project. But overall, it's actually a very simple process. The application process wants to know about you, not just what you did. When completing my application, I created an outline and deadlines for myself for each section. By doing that, I wasn't overwhelmed every time I sat down to do this application. Yourself. Judges love to see what cool things you're up to and also what fantastic ideas you have. So don't be afraid to be creative. Make sure that you show the judges what makes you unique. Don't be afraid to express your real personality and your imaginative, innovative, and intelligent self. Be very thorough in that when you're writing about your project, make sure you uh, go over every detail and you make it very understandable. Whether or not it's a professional or expert in the field that's reading about your project, or a younger child, make sure they can all understand what you are writing about. Incorporate your creative thoughts into your personal essays when explaining your science fair research. Have fun and enjoy the process. The application is not to make you feel stressed out, so while writing it, just relax and have fun. Don't be nervous. No matter what happens, the experience alone of being invited to apply and completing this type of application allows you to practice your skills for future college and job applications. As you wait for the finalists to be announced, remember how awesome you are and that by simply completing the application, you took your research a step further. Best of luck in your application process and remember to have fun. Broadcom Masters is a once-in-a-lifetime experience you should definitely apply for. Trust me, it's worth it. Are you interested in the Broadcom Masters National Science and Engineering Competition? Visit student.societyforscience.org forward slash Broadcom hyphen masters.